We're here at the famous Imola racetrack for the 899 Panigale launch. This is Murugio. What is it? Well, it's much tamer, smaller version than the 1199. Now, we're here in Imola. It's pouring wet. It's uh, not easy to test everything as it would be in the dry. But I've gone through the wet mode, the sport mode, and the race mode. And what I can tell you is that they really do make a difference. The wet mode, capped off at 100 horsepower, very smooth, controllable power band, good for wet, good for slippy conditions, and even good for somebody who's just coming to a motorcycle like this for the first time and just needs to get into it, get used to the bike. Wet mode's a great place to start. Uh, then we upgrade from that to sport. Sport, you've got the full power of 148 horsepower, a much more gentle curve getting, getting up there. So again, controllable to ride, probably very good for the street. I tried it in race mode just the, uh, the, the last time. More aggressive surge of power from the bottom. Definitely a sharper relationship as well between your throttle and what's going on at the rear tire. And you've got eight levels of traction control in every mode. You've got three levels of ABS. And you've also got an engine braking system which helps you on uh, as you decelerate. So the 899 is really the upgrade of the old 848. It's lighter. It's uh, certainly uh, better looking and uh, really has a lot of the traits of the 1199. Now, what Ducati have done really cleverly is uh, introduce this as something that would really suit somebody who rides a 600 super sport bike. It's got a little bit more power, it's a little bit bigger, but it's not like riding one of the big thousands, one of the big super bikes. It's a really good entry level to come to one, the track, or two, if you're, like I said, you're a 600 rider or something similar to that, if you're looking at getting a more sporty motorcycle, take a look at this. It's, um, it's very compact. You feel really racy on it. It's a really good racing position. Like I said, foot pegs, handlebars, position seat, it's, it's the same as the big, the big bike, the 1199. Definitely fast enough for the road. Uh, we've been going uh, nearly 250 kilometers an hour down the front straight here in Imola in the wet. So it's more than enough for the street. Um, but it's really easy to throw around. Lots of chicanes here, lots of time to be able to practice throwing it from left to right. It's really agile. We've got really big piston shower front forks here. Awesome feeling. Stops the bike really diving as you grab the brake. So lots of control through the front fork, through the front end. And then you've got the fully adjustable sax rear shock here. Lots of feeling back through that. Helped with the traction control as well but this has really great road characteristics, hence the more comfortable seat, uh, the tamer power, and, um, and really just lots of opportunity really for, for you to enjoy the motorcycle without being frightened by the amount of power that, you, that you've got at your fingertips. On you've got a quick shifter, and you've got so, many, so much information, you've got red lights flashing at you when you need to change gear. I mean, I didn't even have this sort of stuff when I was racing, so like to have it on a road bike is pretty amazing, I think. So lots of electronic aids, uh, the latest technology, a great LCD display, very clear, giving you all the information that you need. Ducati have just done such a nice job in keeping all of the, the, the buttons small, not too small, you can still find them easy enough as a rider but they're not bulky, still looks really like a race bike. Lots of control through the monoblock Brembo front brake, amazing stopping power, um, but it's not too aggressive, it's just there if you need it. What Ducati have done, they fitted a dual swinging arm at the back, which is the most obvious change between the two models of the 899 and the, and the 1199. So overall, apart from the swinging arm, same lines, it looks like a big bike, um, you've got lots of fun, it's easier to ride than the big one, but still, it really does feel like a Panigale. Same riding position, very exciting motorcycle to ride as you're going through the gears. It pulls so quickly. It's a great bike, you can't have done a really good job with it. And um, the only downside I can possibly think is, uh, once again, I don't own one, it's not in my garage. 
and I've got to give it back at the end of the day. Anyway, <laughs> I've fallen in love once again. Another bike. Oh dear. <laughs>